Today's edition of Mailbag is super special. Um, only to those of you that pay really close attention, you would know why it's super special. For the rest of you, you're going to have to stick around to the end. First one up is this one. This one because it's actually pretty simple to figure out what's inside. One times durable electrical wire cable cutter. So came in on September 10th, I think that's today. And uh, order on August 21st for $2.50. That's uh, Canadian dollars. Pretty cool. Let's take a closer look at these. What these are, are, well, a requirement for every electronics enthusiast. Um, these are a set of flush cut pliers. Um, they have a little spring here that keeps them open. And they are ground completely flat on the back side. Compare that to these guys here, where you'll see they have a bevel. So when you cut something with these guys, you'll have a pointy end. These guys should cut completely flat. Whether or not it'll be completely flat is another story. Now, I thought I was ordering a second set of what I already have and what you've seen on the channel before, which is these guys. So these guys are very similar, but they're not the same. These are Zeron brand. These are Plato brand. So yeah, not supposed to cut pin headers and stuff with these guys. Uh, I have cut some with these guys. These guys are starting to wear a little bit, so I don't think it's as flush as it used to be. But uh, yeah, I figured for 250 I get another set. Turns out I got a different set. It's completely fine though. Not a big deal. So I use these all the time. Or I use these all the time, and I'll add these to the collection. That's simple. For 250 Canadian, you can't really beat it. Or can you? Because this package here says diagonal pliers again. However, this was a dollar nineteen, August 21st, same day as the other ones, to September 10th. So let's see what's inside of this bad boy. Okay, I think we're gonna have to get a closer look. So these are yet another set of flush cutters. Oh wow. But these are extremely cheap. Wow. So they were only a buck something. Oh, they do have a spring. Uh no. <laughs> That's It's not quite a spring. It's not really working. I wonder if it's just cuz they're too stiff or something. I feel like they're chomping it's themselves up. I don't know if I'll put it near the mic. That does not sound healthy. These handles are completely plastic. It's making so much noise, I feel like dust should be coming out. That's terrible. There's a whole bunch of metal filings stuck to the teeth here. That's completely gross. I don't know. I don't know if these things will even cut wire. Wow, that took a lot of effort. Um, oh, they're getting loose now. Let's see if the spring works now. Still not. Okay. These things are junk. I would say stick to this type or to that type because these wires oh yeah that cuts like a dream and even my old beat up ones oh yeah these guys that's terrible yeah not these guys by these guys when you look for diagonal cutters there's these guys in pink and or actually flush cutters pink and blue um, don't even bother with these little guys. Is this the super special package I was talking about? Nah, of course not. So this says Fuse Holder Clips X2. This cost me, well, okay, this came in today. 
Um, I can't match the number that was on here with any of my orders, um, but the description made me think it's probably the $5 thing that I ordered on August 19th. So let's see. Yep, that's uh, that's exactly what I ordered. I don't know what this is, but it's about to tear the bag. All right, let's take a closer look at these. So what are these? Well, um, I don't actually remember if they are 100 or 200, but they are fuse holders. These bags are ruined because of these stickers, so I don't mind cutting through them. Yeah, these are fuse holders that should fit in a PCB. I'm not sure if they are breadboard compatible. I could check that. There's a breadboard there. They have these little legs here. They're like through hole components. They do have a 0.2 inch pitch, which is awesome. As long as I don't confuse them for 0.1. And um, yeah, they take the five millimeter di diameter uh, fuses. I'm not sure if they're the same ones as on a board that I have, but I'll check that out in a second. But yeah, basically you just uh, solder these into the board and you put you slap your uh, glass cylindrical fuse in there. You space the other one out to the right distance and there you have it. So this was uh, five bucks for a whole bunch of fuse holders. This was actually the cheapest fuse hold holding solution I could find. And um, I don't know if you remember this project, but when this project turns into a kit, I certainly want them these things to be fused. So I figured if this is the cheapest way to do it, this is the way I'll do it. Because I mean, it works, just metal contacts. So it should be just fine. Just wanted to show you guys that this board here that I got in a previous mailbag, um, these are the holders in action. So it uses a fuse, a little glass fuse like this. And as you can see there, it's just soldered onto the board with a 0.2 inch pitch. See that? So very simple way to put fuses in and super inexpensive as well. Because uh, for five bucks for a hundred, so it's like a dollar per or uh, 10 cents per fuse implement. So that's not too bad. I do have some of these fuse coming in the mail too. Um, Again, these are very inexpensive, comparatively speaking, so yeah, this whole thing should all come together. Only two items left. Is this one the special one? You've guessed it. Of course it's not. This one here is 10 times plastic sheet, and it cost me $6.40, August 14th to September 10th. $6.40 is not, uh, not too bad, but kind of expensive, and I feel like it's because there's a lot of these. This kind of ties into my last mailbag. Yeah, it does. All right, well, let's take a closer look at these guys. So I'm pretty sure you guys already know what this is. These are these little screw terminal blocks. Very convenient to make um, little hookups. So two, four, six, eight, ten. So I've got 10 here, and I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 bags of 10. So I got 100 of these. And uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. You can buy them in singles as well. I think I like the, the doubles. But uh, what's nice about these, they have these little um, dovetails on the end here. And that means you can slide them together sort of like so and make fours and sixes and eights and whatever you want so you can get some um, singles doubles triples quadruples you can get pretty much any number of attachments that you like I really like these things for securing bare wires although it's not as convenient as these little clips here these guys but it does make a sturdy semi temporary or semi permanent um, connecting solution. 
So yeah, I have a lot of these in stock because as you guys will have noticed, I've made some kits previously and I'm going to make some more kits. And so I need to have parts so the people I send kits to, um, especially my Patreons, won't have to go out and buy their own parts. There'll be a complete kit. So yeah, this is just stock building, so nothing too special to see here. So this is it. The moment that you and I and all of us have been waiting for the special package. First thing that makes this special is this does not have my address blurred. Why is that? Because that is my public facing P.O. box. So if you want to send me fan mail, stuff for teardowns or stuff for sponsorships, or if you want to send me kits so I can build whatever, that's the address to do it in. It's on my community post in the, um, the community section. I'll also put it on the side here and in the description. So if you feel like it, go ahead. Um, the other reason this is special is this is my very first fan sent kit. In fact, I'm not sure if I could call him a fan, but he's definitely a Patreon supporter and an overall cool guy. This is Neil's Hobby HQ. He has sent me this. Um, this apparently is a kit for me to build, uh, make a video on. Actually, he didn't stipulate that, but certainly I'll make a video on it. So um, he just, uh, this was drop shipped, so I don't think there's going to be anything personal on the inside. So I think I'm okay doing this on camera. But Neil, you're the man. Oh, baby. I think I'm going to open this up live. I don't want to cut into anything though. I feel like this is precious because I didn't buy it. This is a gift. Ah, okay, can open it this way. So I have to thank Neil for this, but um, also I'm more than a little terrified about what this means. Um, yeah, you, you see those you see those letters right there? That's a bit scary. <laughs> so high voltage indeed. This is a Tesla coil kit. This is like a giant voltage booster and I think you're supposed to be able to play music through it. Yeesh. Spooky. Uh, I think you'd be able to play music through it and um, let go arcs and crazy stuff. So we've got a heat sink, we've got the secondary winding, the primary winding uh, is just this, just this little swirl there. We've got a thick cable, um, looks like solid core, and doesn't really say the gauge. It's 1.5 square millimeters. Uh, we've got a power transistor here, Farnell piece. Ugh. Spooky. Oh, we got a neon. Ha. This little light that you can light up with high voltage inductively. Um, power jack, a nice on off switch, absolutely terrifying. LED. Have to look up the data sheet for this, but this is a BD243C. Little bolt for mounting stuff together. Uh, probably actually that's probably the feet. And uh, there should be one more bolt. One, two, three, four for the legs. There's got to be some sort of bolt for the heatsink or screw for the heatsink. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, thank you very much, Niels Hobby HQ. You guys can look forward to a video on this. If you guys are, oh God, it even says no touch over here. If you guys are excited to see this kit being built, please go into the comments below and uh, comment, th thank you, Niels Hobby HQ, because uh, it's because of him that I'm gonna be building this kit and possibly electrocuting myself. 
And this collection of awesome and super awesome stuff makes up for today's mailbag. I really want to thank my Patreons on this one because not only do you guys support me, you guys are all awesome. I like your comments. I put something special on Patreon, a photo just for you guys. So only you guys will get to see it. Um, and I want to especially thank Neil's Hobby HQ. You're the man. I can't believe you sent me something. This like made my entire week when you told me about it, made my entire week when I got it. And for everybody else, thank you for coming by and thanks for watching.